Purdue IE taught me so many things that prepared me well for both my previous career as well as my current career. I actually started out uh, my career working in data analytics and uh, all of the classes that I learned at Purdue and in industrial engineering in particular really prepared me well. Even stuff starting my sophomore year with IE 230 and 330 learning basic statistics and SAS programming were some of the things that I used in my first job within analytics. If I think more high level, um, IE taught me how to solve business problems. And I got the idea for my recruiting firm by solving a problem that didn't exist, which was kind of using analytics to recruit for uh, analytics types of positions. I did summer internships. Uh, during my time at Purdue, I had an internship between my junior and senior year. And then when I opted to return to graduate school, I did another internship between senior year and starting uh, my master's degree program. Uh, those internships were in um, data analytics, focusing on the pharmaceutical industry. First, I learned a great deal about doing data analytics. Um, the technical skills that I learned during those two internships, especially with tools like SAS and Visual Basic, are what ultimately got me my first full-time job after my master's degree. Uh, but I also learned a lot about myself personally and what I wanted to do from an industry perspective. I thought I wanted to do consulting, um, and I found that, that I really didn't enjoy some of the aspects of a consulting lifestyle. And I also learned that I was much more interested in the financial services and banking industry and not the pharma industry. And I don't think I would have learned that if I hadn't done both my internships. In fact, at the end of my first internship, if I hadn't gone to graduate school, I probably would have accepted a full-time job uh, to return to that company. It was really that second internship where I, uh, where I learned more about myself than anything else. So what really made my time at Purdue wonderful was all of the activities that I was involved in and all of the lifetime friends that I made from being involved in those activities. I'm still friends today with people that I became friends with in both IE and in the band. Uh, and then if you want to think about your career, without those extracurricular activities, you're very unlikely to get a job. Most companies these days want people that are well-rounded, not just academically inclined, because people have to work together on teams. And the easiest way to work, learn to work together on teams is to be involved in organizations where you work with others. Um, and it's really those extracurricular activities that companies and employers value as much, if not more, than some of the academics when they look to hire people for their companies. I was a member of Alpha Pi Mu, as well as an officer. Alpha Pi Mu is the uh, honorary society for upperclassmen uh, in industrial engineering by invitation only based on GPA. I was a member of IIE, the Institute for Industrial Engineers, and I was also president of the Industrial Engineering Student Advisory Council, which was a, a group of both undergrad and graduate students that uh, met with the uh, department head, which at the time was, uh, was Dr. Dennis Angie, uh, to just provide insights on the department from a student perspective. Regarding bands, I was a trumpet section leader in the marching band, as well as the uh, men's basketball pep band, and I was also a member of the American Music Review, which was a jazz ensemble. So I would really encourage students to get involved in activities, and it doesn't even have to be formal stuff. Play on an intramural sports team, volunteer for a nonprofit. It doesn't have to be through the university, but do things outside of the classroom to really make the college experience uh, enjoyable. Take some neat electives. Um, you know, you, you'd have, especially in your upperclassmen years, you get the opportunity to really explore what you want in industrial engineering and you only get a little bit of grasp of everything right you get two classes in or and one in manufacturing and two in operations and production and one or two in human factors you just get a little snippet of everything figure out as soon as possible what you're passionate about and use your electives to go deep into that and that'll make your education more enjoyable and last piece of advice go to graduate school an advanced degree in industrial engineering or even any other discipline will really enhance your knowledge uh, as well as your marketability to employers.